Bike sharing is this wonderful concept where you can have access to a human-powered vehicle anytime you want, take it one way to another destination within the city uh, pretty conveniently at minimal cost, even free. There has been this tremendous expansion of bike sharing all around Europe first, and now this is going from Europe to now North America, Asia, even Australia, South America. It's really taking the world's cities by storm, which is very exciting. In Washington, D.C., I am a member of Smart Bike, and I, I use the bikes to go visit the, the National Mall and, uh, and see the beautiful cherry blossoms blooming, which is a lot of fun. It's the first uh, bike sharing system of its kind in, in the U.S., which we're extremely excited about. It's really easy to use. There are 10 stations with 120 bikes uh, located uh, around downtown D.C. For $40 a year, you get a membership card that allows you free use of any of the bikes at any time. And it's just uh, really a, a fantastic way to, uh, to get around. So you sign up online, get your card in the mail, activate the card, and you go swipe it at one of the racks. And you can bring it back to the same rack, or you can take it to one of the other nine racks right now in the city. You don't have to come back to the same spot. We've got over 10,000 members, and we've had over about 11,000 individual trips made, rental trips made. For the size program it is, it's really more of a demonstration size. We think it's been very successful. I use Smart Bike just about every day. I, there's one that's right near my apartment, so I pick up the bike there and I ride it to work, and there's another kiosk right by my office, and I do the same thing on the way home. It's been great. I use it just to kind of ride around town. I picked it up actually in the middle of downtown and just rode over to Capitol Hill. More kiosks would be helpful, that's for sure. What we'd like to do is get at least 80, maybe 90 more stations throughout the city so we can cover a lot more neighborhoods. We can also fill in some of the gaps we have uh, in, the, in the current system so you won't have to walk very far from uh, one station if, if it happens to be full. Uh, that's critical is to have uh, stations fairly close together. In Europe sometimes there's as little as three blocks apart. So, you know, with 80 more stations, we have 90 stations, maybe 100 stations, we will have about uh, 1,200 bikes with that size of system. There are so many benefits. Um, it's benefits obviously to the personal health of the people using the bicycles, also to the environment, to the extent that people choose to use cars less and bike more. There's also benefits to the economy as people save travel time, they can get to places more easily. So economy, health, environment, city life, and convenience in the city, um, even making the city a fun place to live as well. What we're hoping is to see a better integration of the smart bikes and metro in, in the future. So uh, you should be able to, for example, get off a, a metro stop, there will be a, a smart bike station right there. So say you've got, a, you've got a single card and it gets you onto the bike and into your car sharing vehicle and onto the bus and onto the train. And it makes it that much easier to use all of these other modes rather than have five or six different accounts, different ways of paying for everything. Uh, the more we can make everything seamless and convenient, the better we can make all of these modes more attractive and get social change to happen. Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, New York, Boston, Chicago, Seattle, Portland, San Francisco, I mean, you name it, uh, the large and progressive cities of the U.S. are either experimenting with bike sharing or wants it very soon at this point. Uh, I think you could probably go bigger if you're another city because we know it works. It's been up and running here in D.C. It's been running in Europe for many years. I think the industry is definitely still changing very rapidly and I think we're going to see new technologies for bike sharing come out, uh, new ways of providing bike sharing, new pricing structures also that are really going to continue to refine and even revolutionize uh, the bike sharing industry.